You guys should know the drill by now. Use hashtag NBA to get your questions on the show. We've got the money side of the trade machine pulled up to make sure your trade packages work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But use that hashtag NBA to get your questions on the show. We begin with a blockbuster one from Ryan Vasquez. DeMar DeRozan to the Magic for Aaron Gordon, Mo Bamba, and a first-round pick. I think it's close. Uh, we'll, we'll add the numbers here. I'll, I'll check the math. I, I think right DeRozan's now. in that 27-28 range. Got to gotta plug it into the spreadsheet. Gordon is around 18. Bamba, I want to say, is around three or four. So this one actually does work and the first-rounder. Question is, is that too much for DeMar? I, I was actually going to flip it. Do the Spurs want Aaron Gordon? I, I, I mean – He's kind. Of, he's a great athlete. He's not a great player. Well, Mo, they, Mo Bamba hasn't shown us much. Uh, yeah, getting a first round pick would be nice. I, I think it works for the Magic or for the Spurs because you have the Marcus Aldridge and what else in terms of bigs? Yeah, you can fair. play Aldridge with Gordon. You can play, uh, you know, Bamba. Of it course, could as give Bamba center. an opportunity, which very weird, it sounds weird to say. He would probably have more opportunity in San Antonio than he does in it, Orlando because they have a ton of bigs. It, Kind of works for for the Magic. I, I guess you're a little bit thinner at at, at at your big position, but I would actually have more issues for the Magic side of it than the Spurs side of it. Yeah, because DeRozan's not making you a contender. All right, Run CMC wants to know what the 76ers are going to do this trade deadline. It's been pretty quiet around the Sixers, uh, as we've talked about here on today's live show. Um... I don't know. I, I could see them making like a low, like a low type of move, like a bench wing or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I would be surprised if they are, are big buyers or anything like that. I'd like to see them be. Uh, we talked about them on our buyers video. I have them at number two. I think they need to be aggressive. It just doesn't seem like it's going to happen, Tom. All right, Fabio Souza. Could Chicago trade someone to help Zach Levine? Markinen involved on a trade for D'Angelo, or involved, I should say, or maybe trade Levine. I am, for the record, not trading away Lori Parkinson. I don't think I'm trading Levine either. I, I think those are the two guys you build around, quite frankly. Now, are those number one options on contending teams? No, but continue to b build that young talent. Maybe down the road, one of those guys gets traded. Uh, I definitely don't trade Markkinen for D'Angelo Russell. Uh, is D'Lo a pl better player today? Probably, but mm -hmm. it's not like adding him and losing Markkinen makes you some contender in the Eastern Conference. Keep building that young talent. I actually don't think Chicago should do much of anything unless they can add picks mm -hmm. somehow. I like what they're doing there. I like some of their young pieces. Wendell Carter's a nice player as well. Keep building things up, uh, and down the road, you'll be in a better position. I like uh, Kobe White as well, the point yeah. guard out of uh, the, North Carolina. It's, it's a young team that you gotta be, You got to be patient. I mean, yeah. that, it takes time. They got nice young pieces there. All right, Takizi Williams, who will Miami target at the deadline? So how about your least favorite NBA team? Which one do you guys hate the most? Free speech, or you can say which teams you hate. It's okay. Who is it? Let us know in the comment section. Harrison, do you have one? Least favorite? Uh... Man, currently, because uh, I did not like the D-Wade-led Heat. There we go. I, I, I was did, waiting for that one. I did Classic not Mavs fan right there. I, you know, D-Wade, you know, great career, Hall of Famer, all that mm. stuff. But, uh, you know, it's just it, – I'm glad it's over. I'll just leave it at that. Currently, I don't know. I, it's There's not a lot of unlikable mm. teams out there right now. Do any come to mind for you? Like, which well, teams I mean, are unlikable? Well, I mean, I see the, the Lakers in there a lot. I kind of think Celtics. the Rockets are unlikable. Does anybody really like Harden or Westbrook? I, I, I kind of like Harden. I mean, he I'm flops. Okay, I'm okay if, with if you get If you get, get over the flopping, No one fine. likes Westbrook. <laughs> no one likes Westbrook, so uh, but Harden's okay. Maybe the Rockets. I, I don't think there's a lot of teams I hate currently. We'll get some shout-outs here. We've got the Cavs. I why, see a lot why? of I see a lot of Celtics and Lakers in there. Oh, well, I mean the two, you know, the two ones franchises expect, of the sport. Yeah. Not super smart. Knicks. Mm. Uh, they're they're not good enough to hate. I'll just leave it leave them at that. Uh, they are a disaster. But keep mm. those coming in, and we'll uh, keep the Q and A going here. All right, Mark wants to know, as he asked us quite a few times, does Kansas City deserve an NBA team? Be interesting. Um, the word deserve is kind of, uh, does anybody deserve a team? I, I'd like to see it. I know the NBA has expressed some interest Seattle in Seattle first, for the record. If you add two, Seattle KC, I, you know, I, I I wouldn't be surprised by that. I would not also be shocked as an international sport, a second team in Canada, very much a possibility. Mm. Montreal could be in play, uh, possibly down the line. But, uh, play, you know, we'll see. Put one in China. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Beyond you travel. You said it, not me. <laughs> Guess what you guys think in there. By the way, 
even if Kansas City deserves or does not deserve a team, we do know that your significant other deserves a great gift on Valentine's Day. And we're going to save you 15% off on that gift. Head over to chatsports.com slash flowers. That is chatsports.com slash flowers. It saves you 15% off flowers, of course. Also gifts, for example, cookie boxes, which I highly recommend because they're delicious and you get something for yourself. So head over right now to chatsports.com slash flowers. Check the description. Check the comments as well. We've got that link in there for you guys. From Troy Daniels, a Utah fan, wants to know if the Jazz are going to make any moves to bolster their roster. The Jazz are an interesting team. I like them a lot, Tom. They've been one of the hotter teams in the NBA the last six weeks or so. I think they've won 18 out of 20 at one point uh, recently before losing a game uh, in the last week or so. I don't think they'll buy big, but I do think I could see them adding a, mid a middle tier type of player. Uh, they could use a backup big behind Rudy Gobert. Obviously, he's their main guy there. They could use someone off the bench. Uh, Mike Conley's working his way back from injury. He's expected mm -hmm. to enter the starting lineup, so maybe a backup point guard could be an option. Emmanuel Moutier hasn't done much for them this year uh, when they added him uh, last offseason. Uh, so I think a, a, a minor move is very much in play, Troy, but I don't think they'll do anything big. Run CMC wants to know about our all-star snubs. I'll throw out mine real fast. I know they suck. Devin Booker's been great this and year. And they're much improved. They yeah. stink, but they're not the bottom dweller. I think they're, you know, they're... Watch it. They already have won more games this year than they They're, did. They are technically competing for a playoff They spot. won more this year than they won all of last year already. Like, And by the way, Bradley Beal, speaking of, the Wizards are terrible, but he's averaging 29 a game. <laughs> like, That's the most points per game for a player who hadn't made the All-Star team in over 30 years. Those two guys come to mind, and I like Chris Paul, but mm. does, should he still be going to All-Star games? Like, no. no. The answer's it, exactly. no. It's Booker over CP3. It's a joke. I'm Absolutely. Sorry. I'm with you there. All right, Alex wants to know about Andre Iguodala to the Rockets. Uh, buyout candidate, they they won't trade for that $17 million contract. What if you could do a three-team trade that uh, frees you get rid of Clint Capella, you bring in a cheap center, and get Iggy in the process? <sighs> Complicated, I know. I'd rather keep Capella. I, I, I would, I, I, too. I, 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 by the way, and we keep bringing up Iguodala, is he still a good player? <laughs> like he clearly, Not at his price tag. And As a buyout candidate, yes. Yeah, for the minimum, absolutely, but like, he hasn't played this year. Like, it's probably going to take mm. him some time to get up to speed. He is 35 years old. He hadn't been the same guy the last couple of years. But, uh, mm. yeah, buyout candidate Alex. Do not expect a trade for Iguodala, quite frankly, to any team. That mm. would surprise There certainly will be teams that want him as a buyout oh, candidate. Oh, several. Every team will want him as a buyout candidate. The Rockets are one of those teams. All the, all the contenders want Andre Iguodala. Yep. So let us know in the comments which team you think will win the NBA title this year. Lakers have looked pretty darn good. The Clippers are, of course, threat. The Bucks are balling out in the Western Conference. Those teams are the heavy betting favorites right now for the NBA title, Harrison. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go with the Clippers still. They were my pick before the season. If they add Marcus Morris, they, to me, they become instant favorites, uh, in my opinion. Okay. I know right now they're third uh, third favorites, according uh, to Bet DSI. But uh, I'll stick with the Clippers. If you want to go bet on who you think will win the NBA uh, t championship, you go do it at Bet DSI. The Lakers, Bucks, Clippers, Sixers, and Rockets lead the way there. There's some good value plays as you get lower, because I do think this is one of those years, Tom, mm -hmm. where you could see a team like the Jazz go on a run, potentially. Mm -hmm. It would be a little surprising, but not as more as far-fetched as we've seen in re recent years. So I uh, I expect uh, that could be a possibility. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code NBA120. And if you like random parlay bets like Tom, go to Bet DSI. Yeah, you got MVP odds as well. Giannis, the heavy favorite right there. Luka was much higher even just a week ago. Another ankle injury for him has dropped him down. He was actually second in the MVP, yeah. at least odds. Maybe not quite the same as the race there, but... Giannis seems like a pretty, pretty safe bet there. For two reasons. One, he's improved, which is crazy to say. He had an incredible year last year. And the Bucks are by far the best team in the NBA right now, as far as the regular season goes. Their record is ridiculous. So he's the front runner. Uh, he's definitely uh, probably going to repeat this year. So if you're looking for those MVP odds, it's on Bet DSI. All right, KSO, are the Rockets better with Russell and Harden or worse? I mean, I don't think they're good question. I don't think they're worse because Chris Paul, his body just couldn't mm -hmm. hold up, and of course, goes to OKC, stays healthy. Funny how that works. But uh, 
Clearly, him and Harden weren't getting along by the end of that tenure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a shame what happened a couple years ago when Chris Paul got hurt because I think they would have beaten Ma the Warriors that might have been there, yeah. in that series. Uh, you felt like that opportunity was missed, which is why the Rockets got aggressive because they don't want to lose this window. Um, I'll say they're better, but are they better enough? I don't think so. I think they're a team that could maybe make the conference finals. I think that's about the ceiling for the Houston Rockets with their current roster. All right, Kevin Otto has a D'Angelo Russell to the Knicks trade package. This does work out with the money, by the oh, way. Yes. D'Angelo Russell to the Knicks for Kevin Knox, Frank Nilakina, Bobby Portis, and a first-round pick. I'll just assume unprotected first because you have to include some of that asset there. I don't hate it. It's, and here's why. Yeah. Nilakina and Portis only have two years left. Mm. Knox is a nice young player who's cheap, and that first-round pick is going to be in the top five. <laughs> like, you could do a lot worse if you're Golden State here. Like, I, again, they're not going to actively shop him, but I've seen worse packages put together uh, from, yes, pe fr yeah. from people in the comments. That's one of the better ones. I don't know if Golden State would do that, but I think that would make them pause. They would consider mm -hmm. that for sure. Bryce wants to know if the Hornets will end up doing anything. I don't think so. Uh just continue to let guys like Devontae Graham, these young players, get better. He's a, a most improved player candidate. He's come out of nowhere, the player out of Kansas from a couple of years ago. He's having a nice season. They're better than expected, not close to contending. Maybe they sell some of their you know older pieces. I say older, guys who've been around five or six years. Uh, I don't expect them to do much. We'll get to our next question here from eBay Addicts, which I don't – what, what year is it? What year is it? <laughs> uh, Daniel Gallinari and Nerlens Noel to Miami for Justice Winslow and Kelly Olenek. Does this one work? Uh, uh, I don't care if it works. Why would the Thunder do yeah, this? Yeah, the th they'd have to get a pick, which Miami can't you're trade getting, their first-round you're, pick You're not getting year. anything for, no. for Gallinari. Winslow's not – isn't a, isn't a big you would, asset Yeah, right you'd now. want Hero in that trade as well and maybe even one of those other guys like Duncan Robinson mm -hmm. or – or uh, add a bio. They're not. They're not doing that trade. Shelley, do you think that the Raptors will try to make a trade, or they just stand pat and wait for the off season? So it's funny. About two and a half, three weeks ago, I did a trade rumors video that's up on the channel, and at the time, the rumor was maybe it's time for the Raptors to focus retooling around Pascal Siakam, which made sense because you know, yeah, they were in the top four in the East at the time, but the Bucks were way ahead. Well, the Raptors have not lost since that video went up on the channel, and they're mm -hmm. the second-best team in the East. So don't you have to try and defend your yeah. title at this point? I don't expect them to be big buyers. Maybe they buy a, a, a middle-tier type of piece. Mm -hmm. I could see that as a possibility. I think that Stan Pat range, uh, Shelley, I think that's most likely. They'll roll into the playoffs with the, what they got and see if they can't defend their title. Why not, says Ben Simmons for D'Angelo Russell. I I'll take this one to start here, Harrison. Okay. I don't know why the Golden State Warriors would even – Consider that Simmons does not fit on that team. Like you can't have, like you can have an extra guard like D'Angelo Russell, but if Steph Curry has the ball in his hands, Ben Simmons is useless basically. I he will can't shoot. I will say this: that that would be entertaining as hell when they get out on the break. Simmons leading the break with Curry and Thompson just waiting to shoot threes. <laughs> like that, I but mean, the it, problem it works is when Simmons has the ball. Yeah, that's the problem, and that's the problem with really any team he's on because mm -hmm. he's ineffective when he's not the ball handler. Mm -hmm. he, you can't use him. Like he, mm -hmm. it, it just doesn't work until he becomes a respectable mm -hmm. three-point shooter. They're, the Sixers are probably just stuck with him, unfortunately. Now right, we're gonna dive into a take here from Harrison. Is Chipotle overrated? Yes. He says yes. I I just think that you hate food. No, there's just better options. And again, name one. Everybody, uh, Choloso is a better place. Okay, to play, you, place just, here you in just Dallas. you just you just pretended to say the word no. chorizo wrong. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's a place. I'm telling you, there's one uh, just down the street from where I live. Uh, it's overrated. And let me let's make this clear because people freak out when yeah, when people a bad use, take. no when people use the term overrated. Overrated does not mean it's bad. Overrated just means it's not as great as everybody says it is. Chipotle's fine. I'll eat there under the right circumstances. But it's not some awesome entity and meal that everybody describes. It's okay. It's, it's great. fine. It's great. It's, it's overrated. It is absolutely great. But what we both ones. agree on is not overrated is the NBA trade deadline. And we will be live for that for the entirety of it. Hit the big red button. 
and subscribe right now. That is on February 6th. It's on Thursday. We will cover every single trade, all of the rumors that happen. We'll break down the trades. We'll hand out some winners, losers as well. Everything around the NBA trade deadline will be covered here at Chat Sports. So hit that big red button and subscribe today.